and that's at the essence of what Ramadan is about. It's about reconnecting with your Lord, about reestablishing that bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this tie with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hubble of Allah, the rope that Allah has given us, which is the Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Cling all of you together to the rope of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said that the Qur'an is وَهُوَ حَبْلُ اللَّهِ الْمَتِينَ It is the unbreakable rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the Qur'an. And so part of the covenant with Allah during Ramadan is to return to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to discipline ourselves to reading it, to reflecting on its meaning. Don't they deeply ponder this Qur'an or are their hearts sealed? This is a time to go back to the Qur'an, to reflect on the Qur'an. This is a time to do muhasaba, to reckon the self, to do a reckoning with the self. Where have we been in the past year? And what do we plan to do in the coming year uh, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us life? It's recommitting ourselves to the sacred path and to this tradition. This is the way of Abraham. This is the way of, of Moses. This is the way of, of John the Baptist, of Jesus. And this is the way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This is the prophetic way. We're walking in the path of prophets. This is the muwatta, the well-trodden path. This is the path of the people that were closest to God. And so when we're fasting, we are sharing and partaking in a discipline that every seeker of God in the past of any prophetic tradition has done. So we are connecting ourselves with an unbroken chain of tradition, of connecting ourselves in a deep and sacred bond with every seeker of God from the beginning of time until the end of time. That we're connected with them in this sacred search to rescue ourselves and, and be rescued, allow ourselves to be rescued by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why it's a blessed month, it's a time for people to take the most benefit they can, not to waste the time. It's a time to turn off the television. It's a time to shut down the chatterbox, to let the tongue begin to, to do dhikr of Allah instead of remembering others with uh, wrongs, instead of speaking ill of people, instead of uh, wasting our time in empty chatter, in qida wa qala and he said, and it was said, and they said, and she said. It's a time of, of disciplining the tongue. It's a time of, uh, of disciplining the heart. Imam al-Ghazali says that the real fasting is not the fasting of the tongue and the stomach, but the real fasting is the fasting of the heart, where you begin to actually prevent your heart from feasting on prohibited thoughts, on prohibited concerns by doubt and, and fear, anxiety about provision. The anxiety about provision is not tawakkul ala Allah. It's not trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's letting go of all of the fear. And one of the things about the modern world is it's a fear-based world. There's all these demons out there trying to scare people, scare them about their provision, scare them about this, scare them about that. You could lose your job. You could lose your wealth. You could lose this. You could lose... Indeed, you could. You could lose it all. But if you have Allah, you haven't lost anything because Everything just as the poet said, everything you desire exists with Allah. So seek Allah and you'll get everything you desire. So all this fear and all this worry, Ramadan is the time to give that up. It's just to let go. And that's, that's the message that we all have to take out to this world because if you look at the state of the world right now and the state of human beings in the world, human beings are in a very serious condition. The fact that the, the number one industry on this planet is intoxicants, intoxicants. And the number two industry on this planet is armaments, keeping people in a state of stupor and then giving them the means by which they destroy themselves. Fasting, and this, this is how we break free of all this madness, of disciplining ourselves, of refusing to enter into the reactionary modes, entering into the... the uh, the obsessive compulsive demands of the self take this and you need this and and I have to have this and I must have that is just rejecting all of that and saying to a to Allah I trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's what this month is about it's about trust in Allah and so my advice to myself and to all the brothers and sisters is to take this opportunity to use Ramadan 
to make it a time of prayer and a time of peace and a time of recitation of the Quran, a reflection of the Quran. Get rid of the television, turn it off, don't allow it on during these months, put it in your closet, disengage, fasting from all of this madness. Don't look at any of the advertisements, because it's not just food and drink, it's about fasting from those things that make you heedless of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshaAllah. سيد الكونين والثاقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجمي محمد سيد الكونين والثاقلين والفريق